Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm on your sign. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion, and perseverance. Thank you. May I be seated? Today is Tuesday, February 15th, 2022. Now it's time to take a brain break. Welcome to our brain break in SEL technique. Today, we will meditate by breathing in and out with headspace. Possibly just taking a big, deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. As you breathe in, noticing how the body expands. As you breathe out, just watching the body soften as you gently close the eyes. And rather than the mind leading the breath, allow the breath to lead the mind. Notice the sensation of the breath. So relax with us next time for our next brain break and SEL technique. Now let's go to the word of the day segment. Hey, are you from around here? Well, I'm a foreign exchange student from Europe, and I have no idea where to go. Wow, that's cool. We barely get any students from different places around the world here. Oh, really? I heard that this school is a great place for foreign students that have different backgrounds. Well, yes, everyone has different backgrounds, just not many of them grew up in foreign countries. Well, that's great. I'll now make many new friends just like me. Well, you just made a new friend. <laughs> See you tomorrow, tomorrow on, on Word of the, of the Day. day. Now let's go to Aiden for our Black History segment. Thank you, Vani. Hey, Patriots. Today we're going to be talking about Thurgood Marshall. After years of remarkable work as an attorney, Thurgood Marshall became the first African American to serve in the U.S. Supreme Court. He was nominated by President Lyndon B. Johnson in 1967 and served as a Supreme Court Justice until 1991. He was an integral part in dismantling segregation, and the world is a better place for having him. Let's go to Randy for today's sports highlight. Thank you, Aiden. Sports fans, it was a Hollywood ending last night when the Los Angeles Rams beat the Cincinnati Bengals at Super Bowl 56 right in their hometown of L.A. It had been 30 years since the game was played in Los Angeles, and this was the only second in history where a team won the big game in their home stadium. MVP Cooper Cup made the final touchdown to bring it home at the very end for the final score of 23 to 20. LA really ran their way to victory. Now let's go to David for the lunch report. Thank you, Randy. Today's lunch is meatball sub, hot dog bun, broccoli, tropical fruit pearls, and your choice of milk. Scholars, please let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to Vani. Thank you, David. Patriots, it's time to show how you feel about black history. Today, you can take a virtual field trip to the National Museum of African American History and Culture. Tomorrow, you can research the importance of Juneteenth. Time to take a field trip. Scholars, the due date to turn in your applications for the National Junior Honor Society is today. You can turn in your applications in room 186. Only 7th and 8th graders can apply. Patriots, the hero story is open. Get there by 7.15 a.m. to avoid the lines. Sports fans, today our boys basketball team and our girls soccer team both have a game against Hillel. Both games start at 4 p.m. Let's go Patriots! Attention Pines Patriots! This Wednesday, February 16th, boys baseball and girls flag football interest meeting. Meet outside of the gym at 3.45 p.m. Let's go! Patriots, the book fair starts this Friday, February 18th. I hope you find the books you want. Now 
let's see what the weather's gonna be like today. Thank you, Bonnie. Hey, Petra, today weather in Pines is 76 degrees Fahrenheit with cloudy skies. Looks like it's our average Florida weather, so look forward to writing your favorite micro mobility device. In other words, news, have you ever seen a lightning strike balled up in the sky? These lightning strikes are unexplained and unpredictable, but, but can stretch from the size of a nickel to a whole house. The best explanation is that it is made from vaporized silicone. What, what happens is that the lightning strike on a spot is rich in silicone that spreads all over it, causing, to, causing it to look like a lightning ball. Now let's head to Scott and Sonia for Real But True. Thank you, David. Good morning, Patriots. I'm Scott. And I'm Sonia. Here's this week's Weird But True fact. So, elephants are huge, and hyraxes are small, and they look nothing alike. But surprisingly, they are closely related to each other. Yep, the rock hyrax is one of the closest living relatives to elephants. They share an ancestor named the Typhotheria. And they both have similar bone structures. What? Yeah, they share this bone structure in their teeth, toes, and skulls. They are also similar to manatees. Well, the more you know, I never would have guessed that these animals had so much in common. That's it for this week's Weird But True Fact. Thank you, Scott and Sonia. Today's birthday boys and girls are Marco Perez and Malia Boyer. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Vani. Thank you, Destiny. Patriots, here are your Pat's expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the schools well and respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for yesterday's trivia winners. Congrats to Miss Stone and Miss Newton. You are the only two that had the correct answer to yesterday's trivia question, which was, which were originally used in naming the zodiac signs? The correct answer is constellations. Teachers and scholars, here's today's trivia question. What is the best-selling video game of all times? Teachers, please send your answers to pines at renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for a response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced in the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a terrific Tuesday. And don't forget, this year we are all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day!